Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about scholardex.nvim. Scholardex.nvim is a telescope extension written in Lua that I have written and published on GitHub. It lets you search the Scholardex index to search for dependencies or libraries that you may want to add to your Scholar project. Once you have chosen a dependency or a library, it copies what you need to add to your build file to the clipboard or it gives you the option to open the Scholardex page for that library in your browser. My plugin also provides a library that you can import in your own Lua projects to query the Scholardex index. I recently moved to using Lua exclusively for my NeoVim setup. I'm using Packer as my package manager of choice and uh, of course I've moved my Vim, Vim uh, config files to init.lua. So just a quick overview of what you need to add to your uh, init.lua to install the plugin using Packer. So uh, let's go to my init.lua file. There's my init.lua. Let's search for Scholardex. So Scholardex has a dependency on telescope and plenary. As you can see from line 17, I already have that uh, had dependency because I was using a telescope for other things already. So the only thing I needed to add was line 20, which adds uh, scholardex.nvim uh, to, to, to Packer as a package to install. Once that uh, is added, uh, you also need to load the extension. So I added this extra line uh, that loads the extension um, called scholardex. And then the last thing I added was just like a just a friendly keyboard mapping of me pressing leader SI to open up the search dialog box to search the Scholardex index. And that's it. Uh, all of this, of course, I, it's covered in the readme.md readme file on the repo. So you don't need to memorize what I just showed you. So let's take a look at a uh, Scholar project, uh, an example project, and search for a dependency and add it. Um, so let's go to, a, I've got a scaffold uh, Scholar project that I created ahead of this uh, recording. Let's go to it. It's just a Scholar scaffold recording, um, it's a sc 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 scaffold uh, project. Let's open it. Let's take a look at our build file. You can see it's got an old, uh, it's got cat's effect as a dependency, but let's hypothetically think that we don't have cat's effect and we want to use uh, scholar, scholardex.nvim to get it. So what we would do is press the, short, the keyboard map that I had set up, press the spacebar SI, spacebar is my leader key. Let's search for the query term cats. We press enter. There you go. Uh, it's queried the Scholardex index, and these are the, all the projects that you can find uh, with the word cats in it. We're interested in cats effect by type level, so we press enter on that. And these are the artifacts it finds. So then you choose the artifact that you're interested in. We're interested in cats effect, so I press enter again to select this. Now it has actually copied it to my clipboard. So let's go uh, where we had cat's effect before and paste the clipboard next to it to see how easy it made it for me to add that. There you go. There's a newer version of cat's effect available compared to when I generated the scaffold. Um, and there you have it. So now let's choose the dependency and open it in the web browser. So again, we press the leader SI. Let's search for cats again. Great, and now we select cat's effect by type level. Okay, so now we do control S this time to open it in the browser instead of saving it to the clipboard to add to our build file. So here we go, control S. And there we go. The project was opened in your browser. Okay, so now Let's look at if you want to use um, uh, my the plugin as a library to use in your own Lua code. So basically, the Scholardex uh, you, you import Scholardex, and that brings um, 
gives you gives you the option of two methods that you can call. One is to search um, for a query term, and one is to get a specific project and its details. So let's do, let, let let's do a search. I'm just going to do it in the in the new Vim um, command line. So I'm going to do Lua because to create a block. So let's say we have a local variable. Um, let's call it result. So we import Scholadex as a library, and let's say we want to call the get project method to get a specific part project type level um, and let's get the stick with the cats effect idea so what that will do is that it will return a Lua table with the results so let's take a look at what's in the table in the result that we get back we can use vim op vim, vim inspect which basically pretty prints a lua table for us to look at the result and um, and then eof to end the block so let's have a look what do we get back there you go as you can see we got back a table looks very similar to json or a dic python dictionary with the information uh, about type levels cats effect and this is the information that the plugin actually uses to display to display the um, uh, results from uh, w w when we search for a library to add similarly we can use the other method to query so similarly if, if we do lua open a block and then let's do local result equals require scholadex dot search. Here we only have to give our query term. Um, so let's search for the word cats again. We don't have to provide a targeted platform as Scala version because it defaults. Um, we have defaults that uh, the method set, uh, goes to, but if you did want to set a targeted platform like JavaScript or uh, or, or Scala, Scala JS or SPT, you could do. If you wanted to search for a specific Scala version, you could too. It defaults to two point one three um, if you don't specify it. And there we go. We search for the word cats. Again, we print it using Vim's. Pretty print our lower table and we end the block and here you go as you can see it uh, returned a dictionary with multiple artifacts matching the word cats great well, thank you for taking a look at um, my telescope extension for NeoVim. Um, if, you, if you have any questions, please use GitHub issues or discussions. And um, I would love it if you could start my project, if it is a project of interest to you. Thank you so much.